at 44 Wine and Spirits in Mount Washington. We are going to go ahead and check out the inside. Go to loan because of the COVID stuff going on. So. Got a pretty good selection. We'll start out with the uh, tequila here. Some Don Julio, some organic tequila right there. Some Patron Citra. I haven't seen that one before. That's a new one. We've actually had a lot of requests for this Luna Zol Blanco. It's 40% alcohol by volume. Some 1800 coconut, some size of gold, two fingers haven't had that one. This store's got a pretty good selection for a small store. I come here. Pretty frequently, so I figured I'd show you guys. It's near my uh, the new studio that we're building, so we figured we'd check it out because we'll probably be coming here pretty frequently after uh, we move. Casamigos, we've had a few requests for that one. We'll probably get to that one eventually. Here I got El Toro, some Pepe Lopez. That's little on the rough side some wines that new capriccio we've reviewed that it's all right it's a little on the pricey side but it's pretty good some more wines talking to the owner of this store earlier and they said they were having a hard time getting stuff in because of covid so they said their selection's a little uh lacking as opposed to what it normally is but it still looks pretty good to me i think they still have a pretty good selection front of the rum section here got that crack and black roast 22 bucks not bad seemed to have a lot of it too Having a hard time finding that one. Got the Captain Black Spice Rum. We have to try that one sometime. Haven't seen that one at Nelson's. Black Spice. Haven't seen that one. Let's see here. A little Rum Chata. Crazan Single Barrel. It's just the flavored stuff. Mixers. It's the Monaco stuff. Here's one we've had a lot of requests for. This Kentucky Mule right here. It's a bourbon and ginger cocktail. I'm probably going to pick that one up after we get done shooting this video. Some more wine. I won't focus too much on the wine because you know we're not a wine channel. Let's see here. Do a quick walk through some of the wine, some of the cheaper stuff. Some local stuff right here. Starlight's over in Indiana. Huber's also in Indiana. That's where these wines are from. Pretty good wines. Now they're on the gin section. Don't think I've seen Seagram's pineapple twist before. Might have to pick that one up. It's tangeray, good stuff. Don't think I've seen Miles either. Six nine nine. Probably try that one too. Of the vodkas, it's the flavored pinnacle stuff. I 
Got a pretty good selection of the flavored vodka. Especially on the pinnacle. I don't think I've ever seen this many flavors of pinnacle in one spot. Sweet tea vodka. Interesting. Don't think I've seen that one before either. Let's see here. Three dollars s'mores. That's an interesting one. Fed good flavor, so some pop off right there. 15 bucks for a half gallon is pretty good. So, a great goose, kettle one, pink Whitney. That's really, really good. If you guys haven't seen our video on that, so ooh, I'm not a big fan of rose flavored alcohol. I don't know how that one would be. There's our Ciroc. Quite a few Ciroc flavors. And smearing off. Followed by New Amsterdam. And the bottom shelf there's our Burnett's. Don't think I've seen the tropical fruit one. Our deep eddies orange. We just had the lemonade not too long ago. It was really, really good. Some absolute. And there's some of the skies. Some UV. Some Bellinis. Interesting. I've got some. Geki Han Saki. Just another wine section. We'll walk through this one really quick. There's the Walking Dead wine. Barefoot. Getting not much of a wine guy. It's more of a spots department. But I'm sure we'll get a uh, wine person on the show at some point, and we'll probably get there and do some, hopefully. More chilled wine. Got to have that Fireball and Jaeger chilled. Jose Cuervo, Skinny Margaritas. Some beer sections, just another wine. Aisle. Oh, that's a new one. Narragansett's hard tea. Probably pick that one up. Some Three Floyd stuff. I got some. Oh, really? Ouch. There's Alpha Claws, Christmas Porters. Dreadnought, Baltic Porter, Battle Priest. They got a good selection of food floor spirits. It's impressive. It's another wine section. Non-alcoholic Stella Rosa. That's interesting. What's going on the moonshine here. Everclear. Some sugar shine. Looks pretty good. Death Door White Whiskey. It's 
Simmons, more sugar shine, Appalachian sip and cream. I haven't seen that before. It's Everclear and the delicious golden grain down there. Yum yum. Some of our single malt and some of our scotches. Mr. Boss and peach flavored brandy, blackberry brandy, and apricot brandy. Interesting. Hmm. Johnny Walker double black there. James Buchanan special reserve. And it's Master. Some Henny. It's crown stuff. Some Paul Mason stuff down there. Some Remy Martin, VSOB. Here's your schnapps. Get a liter for five bucks the peach schnapps mr boston it's not too bad to buy some of that for the live stream it's okay. pomegranate liqueur that sounds pretty good sir bailey's rinds yukon jacks some more decupper stuff oh they got the cactus juice yeah Been having a hard time finding that one bourbon cream good stuff some mixers it's our delicious 99 stuff 99 blackberries butterscotch apple oranges yummy let's check out some of the whiskey bourbon all right got larceny big bottle larceny on top there got the buffalo trace 28 bucks not too bad price uh some Evan Williams, there's the flavored Evan Williams. There's a Kentucky Gentleman down there. Some Walking Dead whiskey, we'll probably do that at some point. Rebel Yell, Jim B. Made Star. All you got it? Bourbon 30, it's that time. I don't know about that. Might have to try it sometime. Burnham, I actually have some of that at home. We haven't had a chance to try it. I have it in a sample pack that uh, uh, Evan Williams sent us. Well, Heaven Hill sent us. Oh, we got Eagle Rare. Pretty good. Some Booker's. Parson Bourbon Company. I've actually had some of the bourbon. Um, they're a relatively new company. They do a lot of contract brews, but uh, they don't have a ton of bourbons of their own yet. A lot of them are young, or they buy it pre-made and they blend it themselves. So I think they're. I think the company they're a little pricey on their bourbons. I know at the distillery they were charging around 70 bucks a bottle, which is, I think, a little much, especially for a blended. Now, Creek, Quarter Oak. I try, need to try that one. Some bourbon cream with a coffee cup. Not a bad deal. Bird dog. Still haven't tried the straight bourbon. There's a screwball. Acre 46. Got the Jack Daniels in a fancy bag. Starlight. I didn't know Starlight made oh it's blackberry flavored bourbon that's interesting so 
So that's a winery. I was understood it was only a winery, but I guess they're making whiskey now. So, huh? Interesting prices. One is seventeen ninety nine for the flavored, thirty three for the other. I'm not to pick that up sometime. All right, time to hit up the beer. Start back here. We already did the. Three Floyds and local stuff. Some other stuff they got going on here. They do have a beer cave as well. It's a mad tree. Got some Lindemans. Some Abita. Tangerine Express Hazy. That's a pretty good one. A lot of stone stuff. They had a stone tiki escape. That's interesting. There's some of the founder stuff. Rubius Centennial IPA or good best or dirty bastard. Porter. Dankwood. Oh, have we tried that one? I don't think we've tried the Dankwood. Uh Barrel Runner. They got CBS there. Thirty dollars. I can't believe I found CBS and KBS at the same place. It's impressive. It's Triago up there. <laughs> Seen that one before. Some great legs brews. Hell had no fury. I don't think I've had that Bell's beer before. Got some brew dog stuff. Against the grain, local brewery in Louisville. Goodwood, good brewery. They don't have a particularly nice uh, owner, but they are a good brewery. Ryan Geist Nitro. This is more Ryan Guy stuff, the Scentsy Brewery. Odd Sad, it's got the dank juice. Some Avery. There's some Blue Stallion, they're a local brew. It's the first time I've seen their um, canned stuff out there. There's ginger ale in the middle there. Still a midnight lager. There's the new Stella Solstice, which uh, bags so it oils. It's the Country Boy. Well, I've not seen that in forever. That two hat stuff. I remember it came out last year. Um, we actually did a review on it, but I haven't I haven't seen it since. Easy in space dust. Some cooker paint. Lime. Some Kentucky bourbon barrel stuff. There's the tea. Hoe Garden, Red Bitch Spotting. Got the High Noon Sips down there. Got a bunch of sips. Seagram's Escapes. Hard stuff. Got Molson Golden up there. I haven't seen that one in China or Cerveza. Huh. Got a twisted tea. Guinness Baltimore Blonde. I haven't seen that one. Single section right here. Got a yin wang. Got a locos. Everybody loves locos. We don't. Got our seltzers. Ice beers. Chiladas. These are just the mixes. They have some Cuervo margarita mixes. Some 
horchata, a daily cocktail. That's interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and check the uh check the beer cave here. It's gonna be a little loud in here, guys. Got a Milwaukee's Beast there. Keystone, the usual, what you'd expect. I've been looking for that bush apple, guys, but I haven't had any luck finding it so far in Kentucky. It just came out last week, though. I'm gonna check a few of the bigger liquor stores and hopefully, hopefully I can find it. Can't believe they have the Slut 55 right there. Budweiser, the usual. It's a four pocket Clamato. Eat that. Some Bud Light Orange, Bud Light Lime. You got the cans, aluminum bottles. Good old Michelob Ultra. Some Amber Bach. Michelob Ultra Amber. Oh, there's a Michelob Light. They got a Michelob Light here. Impressive. Don't see that very often anymore. Cores, like I said, this is mostly just your domestic stuff. Nothing crazy in here. The busy cocktails, some reds. Rasco, Modelo, Twisted Tea, England Flight. Good old Natterdays. Some new riff up there, some Knob Creek. Limited edition 15 year. I haven't seen that one around. Jefferson Reserves. Cabernet Oak Finish. Some more Lux Rose stuff. It's in Bargetown, right near the old studio. Some Eagle Rare. Woodford Chocolate Malt Rye. Some Basil Hayden's 10 years. Wild Turkey Masters Keep. Crown Row Extra Rare. Get a pretty good selection of uh, pints and half pints, too. It's Crown Row Black. We need to review that one. There's some. There's a Bullet Variety Pack. That's nice. Somebody's wanting to get into Bullet. Wild Turkey. Yeah, great selection. Cool. All in all, they have a pretty good selection for a small liquor store. Also, a nice thing is they're one of the only uh, liquor stores, at least near the old house, that will sell on Sundays. I know uh, where the old studio is, we weren't allowed to buy beer or alcohol on Sundays. So it's nice they sell on Sundays. Uh, I want to thank the owners of 44 Wine and Spirits for letting us uh, shoot the store video. Really appreciate that, and uh, we had a good time, and they had a great selection. All right, thanks for watching, guys.